Hello, I'm going to present my case for why I believe Bishop Christodoulos should be deposed from the GOC. This man is an unworthy hierarch. Okay? So here are my reasons. First of all, several years ago, Bishop Christodoulos hit a homeless man in the face with a shovel. I believe the man's name was Marinius. And... I believe the GOC was sued for this and settled at a court. Now, Apostolic Canon 27 says that a clergyman should be deposed for hitting a person with their hand, how much more so for using something like a shovel, okay? And in Orthodoxy, we have to obey canons. There's rules in the Orthodox Church. And if I had done something like that, I would on my own accord on my own sense of feeling unworthy step down I would obey the canon even if even if um, I was in order to step down I would on, on my own accord step down out of a feeling of being unworthy to be a bishop and out of a feeling of wanting to be obedient to the teaching of orthodoxy also Several years ago, before he was a clergyman, Bishop Christodoulos was involved in the horror film industry. I have information about this below in the description box. And I don't know if it's true, but one person told me that he was involved in pornographic films in Greece, but I don't have any proof of that, people. See, I try to be as honest and accurate as possible. I'm not sure what the teaching of the church is about something like this, but in my opinion, personal opinion, you know, as far as I'm concerned, someone involved in horror film industry should not be a clergyman. Also, another reason why he should be deposed, all these things together, I think, are a valid case for why he should be deposed. The next reason is he did not do enough to stop the 2002 encyclical violations. The GOC was giving communion to people outside of what they call the TOC, the True Orthodox Church in violation of their own 2002 encyclical, which forbids this. It's an absolute black and white categorical terms. There's no exception allowed. And it's also a violation of the old calendar protocol 13. So he did not do enough to stop these violations. When men are consecrated bishops, they give vows before God that they will guard the Orthodox Church. He did not do enough to guard the church. And look at where these people are today. They're in communion with the Senate of Resistance. Also, he's maintaining the slander that was issued against Father Gregory when he was a priest in the GOC. When Archbishop Gregory was a priest in the GOC, he objected to the idea of Father Paul, now known as Metropolitan Pavlos, being made a bishop. And Father Paul slandered Father Gregory. The link to that documented slander is below in the description box. And Bishop Christodoulos is maintaining this slander, people. I can't believe Metropolitan Policy, he has the audacity to go to communion regularly, suffering from the delusion that he's somehow going to become sanctified, even though he's maintaining sin and slander in his life. Where's the fear of God? You know, this tells me that Pavlos has a low view of the sacrament of communion. When you go to communion, you have to be in a worthy state. You have to be pure. You have to be repentant. You cannot have iniquity in your heart. It's unbelievable. And Bishop Christodoulos is maintaining the slander people. This is reprehensible. Another reason why I believe Bishop Christodoulos should be deposed is because he did not defend an innocent GOC person, myself. He did not defend my right to attend church. See, when I came to the GOC, Father Maximus in New York pointed me to Bishop Sergius Black's church because it was the closest GOC parish I had. I talk about this in detail in my video called What the GOC Pablos Did to Me. I recommend you watch that if you want more information. Bishop Sergius, out of his own selfishness, pushed me away from his church, I had never been excommunicated from the GOC for any sin, heresy, or schism, okay? Bishop Sirtis did not have the right to do that. 
And I emailed Bishop Christian Dulles and gave him this information, and he did absolutely nothing to defend my right to attend the only GOC parish I had. This is totally corrupt, people. I was pointed to the to Bishop Sergis Church by a GOC priest. I was not excommunicated. Bishop Sergis did not have the right to do that. Okay, I gave my story to Bishop Christodoulos and he did not defend the right of a GOC Christian to attend church. These people are not Christ-like. They don't have the Holy Spirit. They don't think like Christ. Okay, they don't act like Christ. Now, I want to quote Canon 6 of the Second Ecumenical Council. It says, If anyone lay a personal grievance, that is a private complaint, against a bishop on the grounds that he has been a victim of the bishop's greed or other unjust treatment. In the case of such accusations, neither the personality nor the religion of the accuser is to be inquired into. For the conscience of the bishop must be clear in every respect, and the man who claims to have been wronged should receive justice, whatever be his religion." End quote. That's a canon of orthodoxy. So. Bishop Christodoulos, you know, and other GOC clergy never bothered to inform me that they would investigate it, that they would check into it, that they would restore my right to attend the only GOC parish I had. Like I said, I was never excommunicated. He didn't, Bishop Sergis didn't have the right to do that. So they don't care about this canon. They don't care about scriptural teaching. They don't care about a soul, a human soul. They lack Christian love. They lack missionary zeal, and they lack pastoral concern and they lack love for people see they, they don't have christian love and they lack a love for the rules of orthodoxy and they lack a love for justice so for all the reasons i have given bishop christodoulos should be deposed and i refer you people to the information below in the description box i thank you for listening